Hey, this is Susan Fouché with Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. In this video, I'm going to show you a really important button or process or action, whatever you want to call it, in Studio One that will help you tremendously in your editing process of long form narration, especially for audiobooks or e learning. Before I get into it, please be sure and hit the subscribe button. I am a growing channel. I could really use your support. So uh, I've got right here a track that I've laid down. I've actually edited it completely. It's an e-learning course uh, for an insurance company, and it's 11 minutes and 20 seconds long. And the way that I edit is I actually just listen to my track while I edit. So I am doing kind of like two things at once. I'm multitasking. However, before I can get to this point where I am listening while I am editing or editing while I am listening, I have employed the use of punch and roll during my recording process. So if you don't use punch and roll and you're not used to it and you don't, you're not comfortable with it, I really uh, urge you to get comfortable with punch and roll. It is a very, very, very important step in long form narration process. It will save you so much time. It will help you be so much more efficient. And if you look up here, I've got a really great uh, video, a link to a video that will show you how I do punch and roll. And I promise you, it will save you so much time. So while I am editing, one of the buttons that I use all the time is called toggle snap. And it's this button right here. As you can see, it's the keyboard shortcut N. Now, what toggle snap does is it, when it's turned on, and of course it's blue, so that means it's turned on, toggle snap just simply allows you to, when you get to the end of a range, and of course the ranges are where you see the track has been cut, that's a range. So when I get to a range, I drag my mouse pointer over that range, it's almost like I have like a little bit of tension and I can't quite get past that range unless I sort of push, 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 push. Okay, now I can get past that range. That's what toggle snap does. It just simply snaps to the end of that range. And that's a great thing to have, especially when you have got your pads in and you just wanna be able to, you know, delete up to a pad or whatever, the toggle snap is great. However, while I am recording, sometimes there's some little things that I wanna do that require a little bit more precision. And so I wanna take that toggle snap off. And of course, to do that, here's the button right here. I can either click it or I can hit the N on my keyboard and that takes the toggle off. So for example, while I'm listening, here I'll go ahead and make it, make the waveform nice and big. If for example, I find this little piece right here and I decide, you know what? I just wanna go ahead and take that out. If my toggle snap is on, here I just turned it on, it's harder for me to actually get that little piece because my cursor wants to snap to that range. So, while I'm listening, if I want to just go ahead and take that off, I just hit the N and that allows me to just be really, really precise in my editing. And then of course, to put it back on, it is the N. So what I'm going to show you is just a quick little editing process. So I'm going to shut up and I'm just going to go ahead and let my audio play and you'll see me do a couple things with toggle snap. They die including the distribution of their property, and if applicable, naming a guardian to take care of any children. Okay, and what you just saw me do is, there was a little, here I'll undo it. There was a little, a little sound, a little something right here, and I just wanted to go ahead and take that out. So I had my toggle snap, snap off, I hit my N on my keyboard, turn the toggle snap off, and then I selected it, and then I used my macro to, um, diminish that volume. And that is an amazing macro too. I use that all the time. Um, that was a recent video that I just did. And that link to that video is right up here if you want to know how to use that, uh, which simply allows you to select um, a breath or a, a sound, whatever extemporaneous noise, and just simply uh, not delete the sound, but diminish that sound. And that is up there. So use toggle snap. I promise you it will uh, 
aid in all of your editing process, especially for the long form. Once you can get to a point where you are listening as you are editing or editing as you are listening, it will save you so much time and you'll be able to get so much more work done. And that's the point. We want to get more work done so we're more efficient, so we can make more money. And so voiceover isn't just your side hustle. It's your main hustle. And maybe you're even getting to the point where you're making six figures a year doing voiceover. Hey, wouldn't that be awesome? So Keep it up with these wonderful little keyboard shortcuts, these wonderful little tips and tricks and just your editing process. I promise you'll get there. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Happy editing. Adios. Bye.